Left, side to side. Full body, think about your posture right now. Abdominals lifted, tailbone long, shoulders relaxed, and rib cage closed. Now just bring up a knee and reach for that foot. Just reach, make it nice and loose. Bigger movements to get the blood flowing through your body. Another eight like this. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale. And now, reach and pull up one thigh and then the other. I like to do this just to stretch out the legs a little further. Don't bring the chest down, but bring the leg up. Eight more. Push off that foot and spring it up. Okay, add some arms to this. Get some more heat going in that body. And each time you come, I want you to think about bringing those abs to the spine. Give me eight more. Just crunching it. You got it. Last four. Let's make the arms just a little bigger. And pull it down. Start to twist the waist. Using those obliques that you come around and twist it and pull it. Okay, let's drop the arms and just do the legs side to side. Here we go, side to side. Start to widen out that stance a little bit. So we're gonna do a hip circle with your right leg to warm up that joint. Watch me now, just circle it around and around and circle and go and circle. Now make it loose, don't try to control it too much, just circle it around. Turn and circle. Okay, last one, let's step it out side to side. Side to side like this. Shake it out, get loose. Let's do the same thing on the left leg. Let's tap it and circle, and tap and circle. Tap it around and circle. Try to put the hip into it and circle it around. Tap and circle. Last two, bring it back to center and just drop it down. Take it down, now reach up on the toes. Drop it down and up on the toes. Big swing here. Stretch long. Everything in the body, the calf to the fingers, everything's stretching and then we collapse. Last one, now just hold it down here, squat it down, reach the arms forward, shoulder blades down, come up on the toes. Try that again. Each time go a little further, sink into the heels right there. Pull those shoulder blades and reach up. Last one. Let's lunge side to side, first the right, now the left. Go a little deeper into it. And let's add an arm to this. So we lunge and come up, and lunge, and up, and lunge, come to center, and make it long, and up, and long, I love it. Okay, I'm warming up now. Four more like this. Abdominals lift as you go down. Last two. Let's just lunge to the right side. So lunge, come back to center, and add an arm. Reach, and now circle that arm around. Circle it again, and now let's add both arms. Circle and reach. Bring the leg up, here we go. Down, reach over. Reach up and over. Ah! Four more like this. Four, reach it over. Three, you got it. Two more. Okay, ready? We're gonna just switch sides. No arms, here we go. Back, take it down and back. Add that arm and now circle it. Circle it around. Now both arms. Whew. And over, dump. Keep it going, down, up. Bring that leg up as you come. Really give me this arch right here. Work this move and make it your own. Ah, just like you're flying right here. Okay, good, let's come back to center and just stretch it out. Right arm up, left arm down. Circle that arm around, grab onto the wrist and stretch out that side. Give me a little bit more of a stretch. Come back to center. Let's switch sides. Right arm down, left arm up. Circle it all the way around, grab onto the wrist, stretch it out. Come back to center, drop the body down. Now, drop the pelvis and round it, and drop it around the back. Tuck the pelvis under, around the back. Drop the tailbone, now add the upper back. It's round, release, round, release, round, release. And now let's round all the way up, round all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Just shake it out, shake those shoulders. 
Okay, you're warmed up. It's time for your total body lift. Okay, let's start on the floor with the plank position. So get yourself. Okay, let's start on the floor with the plank position. So get yourself positioned with your shoulders directly over your wrist and then come up onto your toes. The main thing is here, I want you to think about abdominals in, spine long, tailbone long, shoulders relaxed, everything in one straight line. Now just hold it there. Right now, we're creating that heat in the shoulders, warming up the upper body. The same time, you're working on your core. Now right now, if you want to pick up one foot, try picking up one foot. That doesn't feel right. Notice that Leah is keeping both her feet down. Okay, hold it there. And now let's switch sides, pick up the other foot, making sure to keep those hips squared off. Keep light in the wrist by pulling that belly button in. You just have five more seconds. Give me five, four, three, two, hold it there, and put the foot down. And now just sit back and stretch out those wrists. Just circle it around. We're gonna go into push-ups now. Now for push-ups, I want you to start on your knees. Nobody, unless you're a superstar, just start on your knees. Again, make your hands a little wider than shoulder width apart. Long spine. From here, I want you to lower down slowly. Take it one, two, three, hold it there, and then push it back up. We only have five of these. Take it low, 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 and push it up. Each time, take it low, 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 and then push it up. Control it on the way down, hold it at the bottom, and then push it back up again. Each time remembering that you're holding that spine in, let's stretch it back, and just hold it back there. Give those wrists a rest. When you do push-ups, make sure abdominals are lifted the entire time. Okay, come round forward, come back for our second set. We have four sets. Set number two, take it down, two, three, and push it up. And again, lower, 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 push it up, three more, you can do anything for 10 more seconds. You have 10 more seconds, hang in there, push it up. And one more, take it down and push it up and stretch it out. Now remember, at any time, if you wanna skip one of these sets of push-ups, feel free to just skip it. It might not be the right day for you. It might not be the time that it feel, you feel strong enough. Let's round it back up and let's do our third set. Okay, ready? Take it down slowly, as if you're in an elevator. You stop at the lobby and then you push back up. You go third floor, second floor, first floor, stop at that and push it back up. Keep that going, keep that going. How you doing over here, Leah? We got two more, two more, and one more. Take it all the way down and push it up and stretch it back. The good news is you only have one more set and you're there. You're now sculpting those gore that gorgeous strength in your shoulders and your chest. So come back up, articulate the spine as you come forward, stretch it out, and now slowly lower yourself down making sure you're not scooping the leg. Push up and slowly take it down, two, three, and push it up. Okay, it's three counts down, all the way to the lobby level, and then you push it back up again. Take it down, 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 and push it back up. Is this the last one, you guys? Okay, push it back up, ah, stretch it out, stretch it out, stretch it out, great job. Okay, just come onto your belly now, come onto your belly. Take your hands behind your back, interlace those fingers, and just take it down long, stretch those arms up, really to get a stretch through the chest, through the anterior deltoid, and just to relax those shoulders. Okay, now go into Superman pose. Both hands go in front of you, and now to work the upper back, let's take an upper arm, opposite arm, opposite leg off the floor. Hold it up there, and now lower it down gently. Switch sides, up, 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 and hold, hold, hold. Lower down. Give me just one more on each side, lift it up, Give me one more inch up, uh, and okay. <laughs> and last one, take it up there. Tricked you guys, and lower down. Push all the way up, and now I want you to spin around, and let's come onto our behinds and work those triceps. So for this, position the hands directly under the shoulders. Hug the rib cage with those elbows. Take yourself up, scoop the bottom under, abdominals lifted, and now elbows back, they bend and straighten. And this is just gonna finish off those triceps right here. Bend and straighten, and bend and straighten. Now, I don't want you to take this in the neck. It's not like this. We're not going like this. You're bending the elbows and straightening them each time, up and down. Keep it going. Okay, can you give me 10 more? A little lower, keep the scoop. Get that scoop in the behind, get it up there. Give me five more. And four, you can do it, come on, three more.
more, come on, come on. Two more. Last one. Good job. Sit it down and now grab the weights. I'm gonna use two pound weights today. So pick a light weight because we're gonna continue working the upper body and sculpting those sexy shoulders and lean arms. So let's get our position. Shoulder width apart, drop the tailbone, abdominals lifted, and from here, I want you to lift the hands out to the side and drop it down. Up and down. Now I want you to control it in each direction. When you take it up, hold it and lower it down. Okay, let's add a move to this. Let's take it forward. Take it forward and take it out to the side. We're just continuing to warm those shoulders up and sculpt those great shoulders that we all love so much. I love working shoulders now, but the trick with shoulders is not to take it in your neck. So you don't want to be hunching your shoulders. You don't want to be coming up like this. Shoulders are down and relaxed. Okay, here we go. Last one. Take it up, bring it down, and now extend the arms up at a diagonal. So they're up and over. And it's up and lift. And when I go up with the arms, I come down with the shoulders. And lift it a little higher. And lift it up and lower slowly down. Give me four more like that. And three, extend it out. Okay, last two. Now this one, hold it up there. Lower it halfway down. We're gonna work the bicep now. So I want you to think about doing an isometric contra contraction. Contract the bicep and release it. Contract the bicep and release it. Now with that contraction, let's bring the weight in and release it. Now imagine this is not a two pound weight, it's a 25 pound weight. And you're really resisting as you come in and you're resisting as you go out. And that's how you get the definition. That's how you sculpt those arms that you want. You really think about resisting in. Imagine you're bringing it through taffy and it's thick and it's gooey and you can hardly get it in and you can hardly release it out. Again, when you're using light weights, you have to focus. No throwing around the weights, it's controlling them. Okay, got it? Let's hold it out there. Now squeeze those arms together. And from there, I want you to alternate right and left, side to side, alternating. Keeping the tailbone long, abdominals lifted. That tailbone long is really gonna protect your spine. Protect your back. Keep it going. Alternate side to side. You should be feeling it right now in the bicep, in the front of the arm, as well as the shoulder a little bit. Give me four more right now. Where are your abdominals? Pull them in. Okay, hold them both out. Now from here, let's finish it off. Pull it in and take it out. And pull it in and take it out. And hold it in and release it. And hold it and release it. And slow and peak contraction right there. I want that peak contraction right now. You got it, give me four more. You can do anything for four more repetitions. Hold on there. Please give me two more. And last one. And now hold it here and just lift it. And lift it. And lift it. And lift it. And lift it. Keep lifting. Lift it up. A little higher. Four more. And three. You're almost there. We're almost done with this. Hold it here. Now open up and back. Up and back. Open up. Release it. Up. Release it. Keep those abdominals in. Release. Up. Release. Up. Press it. Just last two. You can do it. Last one. Hold it here. Open up the arms. Extend them out. Now drop the, the weights down. Lower it down and lift it up. And lower down. And when you come down, just come about three inches from your thigh and then lift back up. And when you lift, think about depressing the shoulders. Depressing means bring the shoulders down as you lift the weights up and lower. Lift it up and lower. Now just lift it up there and hold it. Press it back and lower it down. Lift it up, press the shoulder blades together, lower down. Lift it up, press the shoulder blades and lower down. Lift it up, press those shoulder blades. Just one more like this. Now let's take it up there and just lift and hold it. Abdominals, tailbone, drop it all the way down. Good, good job. Let's work into the tricep. So what I want you to do is extend both arms back. And I want you to think about abdominals in, tucking the pelvis under, extending both arms back, 
And now, bend and extend. Bend, extend. Bend, extend. And hold. And hold it. Lift and hold. Now let's do those holds for a little longer. Looks like this. Bend, hold. Bend and hold. Bend and hold. Bend it, hold it up there. And now from here, I just want you to lift. Up, 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 accents up. Keep the round in the back to protect the spine. Abdominals lifted. Up, up. We're almost there. This is really toning the back of your arm. Keep it going. Four, three, two, and one. Now bring it up and squeeze it together. Up and squeeze it together. Up and squeeze. Up and squeeze it together. Now hold the squeeze, hold the squeeze. And there from there, squeeze and lift. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze the arms together and lift. Okay, we're gonna finish it off with 20 pulses. Extend it, extend it, extend, extend, extend. Keep it going, extend, extend, extend it. Keep it going. What I want you to do is make sure the belly button's tucked in, the spine's long, back of the arm. Give it to me now. All you have is five more, four more, three more, two more. Hold it there, hold it. Lift it one more inch, one more inch, one more inch. Hold it, hold it. You got it. Release it. All right, we're done. Okay, grab a towel. We're gonna just stretch out those arms, stretch out the shoulder. You did it. You finished the arms. I know it's tough, but it's worth it. It is so worth it. So grab a towel, and now, arms overhead, bend the knees slightly, and now stretch to the right. Come back to center, and stretch to the left. Bring the towel up. Now slide behind your head, and now bring it up and round the back, and bring the towel forward. Again, slide the towel behind your head, bring it forward around the back, and up, take it here, sliding around the back. Oh, so good. Take it down, reach it up, and round. Okay, drop the towel, and now let's just stretch out the tricep. And from here, drop your hand down, grab onto your elbow, give me a good stretch, reaching your palm down your back. Come on up, and let's switch sides. Stretch out those arms. Oh, so good. Now, I cannot tell you, how you can change your body in a really short time, your upper body, with this routine. Just keep consistent with it, and remember, you do not need to use heavy weights. Take the hands behind the back, drop it down, stretch it out, stretch out that chest, circle the wrist, great job. You guys, really good, let's move on. And put it between your thighs, that's gonna help engage those inner thighs. Now feet in parallel position, Come up on the toes, releve, tuck the pelvis under, engaging the core, shoulders over the hips, and now lower yourself down. From there, I want you to take it down an inch and up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, squeezing those inner thighs, keeping that pelvis tucked. It's down and up. Now remember, you can go at whatever level you want. The higher you come up, the easier it is. So if you want it tough, keep it down. Down an inch, up an inch, find your edge. Find what works for you. Give me four more, down and up and down. Last two. Now hold it down here. Just squeeze the inner thighs. Squeeze that towel. Squeeze it and squeeze it. Squeeze the inner thighs. Squeeze the towel. Squeeze and hold. Squeeze and hold. Squeeze and hold. Squeeze and hold. Each time, squeeze and hold. Make it tighter. It's really working right now. Sculpting those thighs. Four more, four and three. You can come up at any time. Last one, now take it down. Take it down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. We're almost there. We're gonna end with spring ups. Looks like this. Spring it, spring it, spring it. Push off the toes, push off. Just give me 10 more, you can do it. 10, nine, Eight, keep the tuck. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Bend it out, take the towel out, shake out those legs, and remember, if you need to rest a few repetitions, no problem. We're really doing some deep toning in those thighs. From here, feet together, fan out the feet, 
come up on the toes, walk until your heels are touching each other. From there, knees go over the toes, slide down, tuck the pelvis, long spine, take it down and up, down and up. Again, finding your edge. Some people can go a little deeper, some people might be right up here. This might be the day that you're gonna be right up here. Otherwise, take it down and up, and down and up, down and up. Now hold it here and tuck it under. Tuck, release, tuck, release, tuck, release, tuck. Give me four more, and three, last two, last one, and again, take it down and up. Squeeze the heels together. Each time you go up, squeezing those heels together, high on your toe. Hold it here right now. Hold it, almost there, squeeze the heels. Give me four more, four, three, two, and one. Straighten out the legs, shake it up. <laughs> Can you feel that, whoa. You could just feel it working those muscles. Let's take it into a wide second position. From here, turn it out, slide down, tailbone is long, knees are over the feet, and take it down and up. Continuing to work the front of the thigh. Now just hold it down here and take those legs, press them back and back and back, back, press it back. There you go. Pressing, really working. 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's bring the left heel up, come up in that left heel and pulse it out. Pulse it down and up. Down, give me a little, little lower, little lower. Take it down and up and down, let's switch sides. Down and up, pulse it low, another inch lower. Chest is up, abdominals are lifted. Last two, last one, come all the way up. All right, you did it. Shake out those hips, walk the feet together, just shake them side to side. Let all the blood get back in there. Circle the hips around, bend the knees slightly. Circle them the other way. And now let's stretch out the front of the leg. Come to the chair and grab onto your foot. Bend the standing leg, tuck the hips under, and press your foot into your palm of your hand as you press those hips forward. Feel that great stretch through all the muscles we just worked. Okay, release it, let's do the other side. Support yourself on your chair. Bend the standing leg, tuck the hips under. Hand presses into the palm as you tuck those hips. Great work. Oh my gosh, sexy, long, gorgeous strength in those legs. Okay, let's work the back of the leg now. We're working into the hamstring. Grab your towel again, support yourself on your one leg, place the towel in right there in the crease of the other leg. Now, a couple choices. Leaning forward on your elbow on the chair, or if it feels more comfortable, you can be more upright. But bringing it down, bend the standing leg, squeeze the heel right into the buttocks and squeeze the towel. And from here, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Now stop right here. Tuck the tailbone under, and again, squeeze, 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 and hold. Now lift the leg, lift it, lift it. Lift it, making sure you keep that tuck in the tailbone. Let's hold it right here, re-engage, scoop it under, lift, 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 lift. Really getting that insertion right where the hamstring meets the butt. Up, up, lift it and squeeze. Now squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold. Beautiful. Hold it here, think about our posture. Tilt under, tuck the pelvis under, of abs in, squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold. Give me four more. Really engage it, don't drop it down. Everything is up, accent up, and hold. Take that leg down, take the towel out, and let's switch sides. So what I want you to do is put the, put the towel right in the crease of the opposite leg, bend your standing leg, Tip the pelvis under, take the, the arms right down to the chair, and now lift that leg up 
and lift it up. And now squeeze and squeeze the heel into the buttocks. Squeeze and hold. Squeeze and hold. Abs are lifted. Squeeze and hold. Squeeze and hold. You're almost there. Really working the back of the leg. Thinking that beautiful sweep that comes down the back of your leg. And right now, squeeze and hold it. From here, lift it up. Lift it up and hold. Lift it up and hold. Don't release the tuck. Lift it up and hold. Tuck the pelvis under. Lift it up and hold. Lift it up and hold. Lift it up and hold. Keep it at the top. Hold it there, hold it there. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And release it in. Okay, let's turn our chairs around. We don't need our towel right now. Let's drop down to our mat. And from here, I want you to put your heels right on the seat of your chair. Scoot your legs so that the hips are slightly behind your thighs. And now from here, lift the hips off the mat and take it up and lower it down. And we're working the back of the leg right now. You can just feel it as you pull up. But remember, we're digging our heels into the seat. You're not trying to squeeze the buttocks. You're trying to dig the heels into the seat. So lift it up. If you want a more advanced version, and this is tough, so you might even want to try a few. Take one leg up and lift it up and up and up. Give me two more. Last one, switch sides. Keep those knees together as you lift. And lift. Almost there. Oh, this works so good. I love this move. Take it up, both heels come down. Let's finish off those hamstrings. Up, we're almost done with this. Abs are lifted. You're scooping, you're lifting, you're engaging the back of those thighs. Hold it up there now at the top. And small lifts, 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 lifts. 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect timing. It's time to stretch it out. Just put, press your chair away. And from here, grab onto your towel. Take your towel around the ball of your foot. And now straighten out that bottom leg. And pull the leg toward your chest. Just hold it there. If you want, release it a little bit. And then pull it back in again. Grab onto the towel, and now open up the legs and take them out to the side, making sure you keep your hips square on the floor. Hips are squared, releasing that, pulling, bending the elbow to just pull the towel, pull the towel closer to you. And breathe, inhale, and as you exhale, grab on, switch hands, keeping your shoulder down, arm extended, drop your leg to the other side. But the key is, is to keep the hip squared, not to release it. When you keep it squared, you feel a nice stretch to the side of your leg, just where you really need it. Come back to center. Drop that foot over the opposite foot. And now, threading the needle coming through your legs, grab onto your thigh, pull that thigh toward your chest. The foot is flexed, the knee is open. For some people, this is enough of a stretch. For others, you wanna pull it right into your chest and feel a deep stretch in your outer thigh. Okay, let's switch sides. Take your towel, put it on the ball of your foot and let's repeat all the stretches on the other side. Straighten out the bottom leg, straighten out the top leg, and pull it toward your chest. As you exhale, open up that leg to the side, counterbalance by extending your other arm, hips are squared off. And remember, everybody's flexible, has different flexibility, has different range of motion, and every single day is different. Some days I feel very open and some days I feel very tight. So listen to your body. Come across and stretch it out. 
keeping your opposite shoulder on the floor, keeping those hips squared off to get the outside of the thigh. Come on back, drop your towel and drop the leg over the opposite leg. And once again, pulling the knees in, making sure the foot is flexed, making sure the knee is open. And for that yummy, 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 yummy stretch, pull it even further, I love it. Nothing better than working your legs really hard and then stretching them out. Feels so, so wonderful. Okay, release the legs, full body stretch, legs go down, all the way top of the toes, tip of the toes, to the tip of the fingers. Pull it in, pull the knees to the chest. And now take it to the side, push yourself up. And from here, let's just go into a wide second position. And let's just take it over and stretch out one side. Come back to center. And let's stretch out the other side. Come back to center, just cross the legs. Just fold over. Mmm, that feels great. Great leg lift. Can't wait to do it again tomorrow. Standing on your right leg. Now, slowly take it down and bring it back up again. As you hinge down, put the weight in the heel, take it down and come back up. I want most of the weight in your right leg. When you feel like you're balanced, I want you to start to bring that left leg up. Take it down and up slowly. Take it down and squeeze the buttocks as you come up. Take it down if you need to hold on to the chair. It's there. Take it down and pull it up. As you find your balance, I want you to take the hand off the chair and squeeze to the top. Each time going a little deeper and then coming up and squeeze right at the top. Take it down and squeeze and down and squeeze. Just give me four more like this. Okay, make these last make these last two work. Take it down a little lower, squeeze it up, and take it down. Now that same leg you're working, that right leg, I want you to take that behind you, lean over, support yourself on your elbows, tuck the pelvis under, and from here, lift the leg behind you, hips squared off, and now lift and hold. Lift and hold. Lift and hold. Lift and hold. Abdominals are lifted, tailbone is tucked under. Keep that tailbone down, abdominals lifted, lift and hold. Lift and hold, lift and hold. Hold it there, now hold it and just hold it right there. Hold it, hold it. Give me another 10, pulse it up, and nine, and eight, and make it tight. And really find that little apple, that really little roundness in your butt right there. That standing leg is bent, keep it there. Four, three, two, and one. Now pull it in there, and what I want you to do is start to think about bringing that leg toward the midline. So pull it up, and bring it toward the midline. And up, and bring it toward the midline. Up, bring it to center. Take it up, and bring it to center. And up, now, let's hold it right here, let's stop for a second, make sure the abdominals are lifted, tuck the tailbone slightly, and keep that tuck, keep it really tight, and now bring it up, and to the midline. And up, and to the midline up and to the midline. Bring it up and really engage the inner thigh. Take it up and engage the inner thigh. Up. So you're really working the butt, you're working the inner thigh. It's brilliant! I love it! Hold it there, now hold it right there. Now take the foot and take it six, four to six inches outside the midline. Notice the hips are still squared off. You still have the tuck. From there, you're gonna lift. Toes are still pointing down. Don't start to arch the back. Don't take it in the lower back. And the way that you do that is you use those abdominals. Really pull that belly button to the spine and that's gonna engage those abdominals. And lift it, you only have 10 more. You're going a little too fast on me though. Up and hold, up and hold, up and hold. Five more, you can hang on. Give me five. This is where you get all this definition. This is where you're gonna get that roundness and that curve in your butt and hold it there and drop it down and let's do the other side, shake it out. I'm glad I didn't have to do that. <laughs> okay, now supporting yourself on your opposite leg, so on your left leg. Let's take it down and bring it up. Take it down and find that range of motion low and squeeze up. And remember, anytime you want to, you can hold on right here 
and now just squeeze it up. Take it down and squeeze it up. And take it down and squeeze and hold. And when you want to release that hand, just come here and use that balance to engage that inner thigh. Take it down, squeeze and hold. Take it down, squeeze and hold. You ready? I want just two more here. One and two. Great. Now let's turn toward the chair. Support yourself on your elbows. From here, tuck the tailbone, extend the leg back, and now take it out. And now let's just lift. And lift and hold. And lift and hold. And lift and hold. Lift it up. And anytime you think that you're getting taken in your back, just take yourself, adjust, abdominals in, and keep the movement going. Ah, lift and hold. Lift and hold. Lift and squeeze. Squeeze it tighter. Lift and squeeze. And each time you think about squeezing your buttocks, at the same time think about pulling the belly button to the spine. Okay, hold it up there. Hold it. And now lift and squeeze. Lift and take it right into the midline. Engage the inner thigh. Up, inner thigh. Up, inner thigh. Up, inner thigh. Up and squeeze. And not only squeeze the upper part of the leg, think about the standing leg, which is slightly bent right now. That slightly bent leg is squeezing together. Up and squeeze it together. Come on, give me four more. And three, and two, and one. Now take the leg out to the side, about six inches. Let's make sure you're not opening up. Keep it down, and from here, lift, and lift, and lift and hold, and lift and hold. Okay, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it, but I'm gonna work it because you know what? It's worth it. These last few repetitions are where you get change in your body. This is where it all counts, where you make the change that you want to see in the butt and legs. Hold it there for me. Drop it down. Whoa, just shake those things out. Good work. Okay, come to your chair now. Face the chair. Take your feet and fan them out just about two inches. Now slide that leg back. From there, tuck under. And now what I want you to do is with that tuck, lift the foot off the floor and then tuck again. And from here, just start to squeeze it back and squeeze it back, and squeeze it back, and squeeze and hold, and squeeze and hold, and squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold. Now, hold it back there. Let's see if we've lost our tuck. Try to tuck again, grab onto those abdominals, take it back, hold it back, squeeze it tighter. And each time, this isometric contraction starts to get tighter, and tighter, and tighter, and from there, I want you to take the knee out to the side slightly, and now press down as if you're pressing, and you're trying to press on a can, and you're trying to crush a can with your heel. So it's crush it down, and crush it down, and squeeze and lengthen, and feel the buttocks, and just give me last 10, and nine. Go deeper into the muscle now. Keep those abdominals lifted. Give me four more. And three more. Last two. This is it, last one. Whoa. Shake it out. And let's do the other side. Fan out the legs. Fan out the feet just a couple inches. Slide the leg back. Tuck the pelvis under. From here, lift the foot. Tuck the pelvis again. And now take it back. And take it back. And back. And keep taking that foot back, making sure you maintain that tuck in your pelvis. Really keep a long line, abdominals lifted, as you take it back and hold, back and hold, back and hold, back and hold. This is beautiful. Now I want you to hold it back there, tuck the pelvis under, and now, again, take it back and hold, back and hold. Keep it long, though. The tendency is going to be to arch that back, and I really want you to keep that back long. That way you're gonna feel it in the thigh, you're gonna feel it in the buttocks and get that line that everybody loves. Okay, from there, hold it. Now take your foot out, just slightly to the side. And from there, imagine that you're crushing a can. So you're taking it and you're just crushing that can and squeeze the buttocks and squeeze the heel down, maintaining that tuck. I mean, I can't tell you, every few seconds you have to think, where are my abdominals? Where's my buttocks? It's long and you're tucking. <gasps> Gorgeous. 
I love it. When she does it right, there is nothing better. And you know what? You start to feel it more and more every single time you do this workout. The more you do the workout, the more results you're gonna see. So keep it going. Give me two more. Last one, really hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And release it. Beautiful. Now it's time to stretch out those muscles. So come to your carpet or your mat, and now separate your leg. One leg forward, one leg back. Let's drop that knee, back knee down. Take the front leg and put it a little further forward. Ankle comes in front of the knee. From there, start to just take those hips forward, feeling a stretch in the hip flexor and the butt. From there, if you can, curl the toes under and now drop the hand down. Get a little deeper stretch and then reach one arm up to the sky, the ceiling, nice and long. And just luxuriate in this stretch. It should feel nice and yummy. Oh, just releasing and then drop that hand back down again. As the knee drops down, I want you to pull the foot towards your buttocks. If you can reach around and grab it, do so. If not, for some people, the stretch is gonna be just fine with your hands on your knees like Leah's doing. Okay, from there, I want you to release that stretch, slide back on your leg, and now flex the foot as you start to lean forward to stretch the hamstring of the front leg. Leaning forward, chest toward the knee, bring it down and just drop and say, oh my gosh, all that good work. Now you lengthen it out. I love this idea of strengthening and then lengthening. So push yourself up, feet come together, slide the other leg back, and let's do the same thing on the other side. Adjusting yourself, making sure the foot is in front of the knee, you start to tilt the pelvis and lean forward, feeling the stretch in the hip flexor and the buttocks. From there, straighten the back leg out if you'd like. Otherwise, keep the knee down. And let's do a spinal twist, reaching up to the ceiling. Shoulders are down, abdominals are lifted. Think long through those fingers. And let's release it and take that back leg. And again, if you can reach around and grab it, pull it towards your buttocks and you feel a stretch through the front of the leg. Ah, release that. And now, sink back into that back heel, that back knee, lengthen that front leg. And now, reaching forward and down, you feel a stretch in your front leg, in the back of your front leg. Take it forward, and now let's slide over to the side. And from here, let's continue to work the buttocks, going down on our backs for pelvic tilts. So, knees are together, you're squeezing those inner thighs, you lift the buttocks off the floor, and from here you lift and squeeze, and lift and squeeze and lift and squeeze, and really squeeze those inner thighs, and squeeze the buttocks, lift and squeeze, and lift and hold, and lift and hold. And when you're going down, when you're releasing, don't think about just dropping down. I want you to control it down. Up and control it down. As if you have a weight right here, and you're resisting somebody trying to push down on you. Okay, let's take one leg up. And at any time, if this feels too difficult, just keep both legs down. Notice Leah all the time is doing that beginner version. And sometimes, believe me, I feel like doing the beginner version. It's just not one of those days for you. You don't have to give up. You just go back to two legs. And you take it up, and you lower, and up, and lower. And it should feel right now that you can squeeze another inch up, and squeeze another inch up, and another inch higher without arching the back, and up, and hold it, and let's finish off with four more together. Squeeze the inner thighs, squeeze it tighter, and now just hold it at the top, hold it, hold it, hold it, and pulse up, squeeze the inner thighs, squeeze and tuck, squeeze and tuck, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, squeeze it together, four, three, two, and one. Take your leg and pull yourself back up again, and now let's finish off with our last exercise. From here, position, position yourself on your elbow. Take an L shape at the front of your leg. The knee, shoulders, the hips and shoulders are all in one straight line. Take the knee back, and from here, I want you to lift the knee off the floor. But notice the lift comes from squeezing the buttocks to lift. I squeeze my buttocks to lift. So all of the action is coming from squeezing the buttocks. As you start to get more comfortable here, start to slide your hand up and come up into a more upright position. Always maintaining the hip forward, the knee back, and knowing 
that the action of the knee doesn't have to go very high, but you're squeezing your butt and squeezing it and squeezing and lifting and lifting. And now let's take it back and take it back and take it back and you're pressing it to the back wall and back wall. And if you find your hip starts to roll open, you take it and you press it forward and then you come up a little higher and you just finish off and you'll hold it back, back, back. And now you bring it in and let's flip around and let's do the same thing on the other side. L shape in the front, leaning down on your elbow, making sure shoulders, hips, knee are in line and then press that knee back. Shh. Hip stays forward. Start to lift it and lift it. And remember, we're engaging it with the gluteals, with the butt. The butt engages and then lifts. As you start to feel better about it and you get stronger, you lift up on that arm, making sure you don't roll back. And when you get to be very, very strong, you can take it into the very advanced position, which is you take your arms off and you're gonna see a vet demonstrating that right now because she's the only one that can do it. <laughs> but she does a great job and something to really work toward. And when you get to that place, you're just gonna feel that glute and outside of your leg really, 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 really work and hold it. Now press it back and back and back. You just have four more now. Three, two, and one. Slide that leg around, come forward. And now let's just drop down oh, over your thighs, over your legs. Stretch out your outer thighs, round back up. I guarantee, if you do that workout two to three times a week, whoo, the curve in your buttocks and legs, unbelievable. Good job. Okay, before we work the abs, let's work on the scoop we're gonna be using. So down to your elbows, inhale as you exhale, belly button the spine and scoop the pelvis under and release it. And again, inhale, exhale, scoop as you squeeze the buttocks and the inner thighs. And again, Inhale, exhale, scoop. We're gonna just take those inner thighs, wrap them around, squeeze the buttocks, and release it. So remember that as we go through the workout. So let's come on up, grab onto your thighs, and now from here, I want you to round the back, come to the top of your buttocks, right there, not too far down. And now, scoop under, pull the rib cage one inch closer, elbows are really, really high. Notice the scooping action, and from here, let's go into our breath. And exhale, belly button the spine, and exhale. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful. Give me one inch closer with that rib cage. Beautiful, hold it there, hold it. And now come up, relax the back. Let's do that one more time. Come to the top of your buttocks, and from there, I want you to tuck the pelvis under, rib cage one inch closer, scoop the belly. Now release one hand, release it up, and just hold it there. And just hold it. And now let's switch and go to the other hand and just hold it there. Now only if you want to, try releasing both hands right there. Notice Lee is holding on with one hand and that's fine. Just hold it, scoop and tuck. Four more seconds, three, two, grab on and pull yourself up and release. And now let's take it a little further down into our lower curve. So I want you to take it right to where your lower back is on the floor. If you want to put a pillow between your shoulders, that will help keep you elevated. From here, same technique, tuck under, rib cage one inch closer, and now from there, I want you to reach with one arm forward. You're reaching, and you're reaching, and you're reaching, and keep it going, and keep reaching, and notice each time you come closer, you come one inch. Imagine I have a wire right here, and you're coming up and over. Let's try the other hand. Grab on and reach, and you're coming up and over, and up and over, and up and over and up and over. Okay, hold on, grab both sides. And now, if you want to, try with both arms. Otherwise, keep holding on with one arm and keep going. Reach up and over, up and over. Beautiful action right here. Now notice, you're bringing that rib cage as if you're coming forward. It's not up, it's forward and forward and tucking. Okay, grab onto those thighs. Let's come up, stretch out that back and let's go for a second set. Round it all the way down. And from here, tuck the pelvis, bring the rib cage one inch closer, take those arms in front of you, and now let's cross and cross and cross and cross. And the more advanced you are, let's cross it up, two, three, and four, and down, two, 
three, and four. Bring it up and take it down. The whole time maintaining the roundness, maintaining the tilt in the pelvis, the rib cage is depressed. It's, you're bringing the rib cage in and bringing it forward. Give me two more like that. Take it up and then take it down. Looking beautiful. And last time, grab on and bring yourself up again. Bring yourself up and let's get ready for our last set. So release the back, shake it out a little bit. Oh, feels so good to shake. Now, round down, find the tilt in the pelvis, bring the rib cage one inch closer. And now from here, I want you to reach and reach and reach and pull yourself up. Other arm, reach and reach and reach and pull yourself up. Keep that lower back on the floor. Keep those shoulders up, round it up and round it forward. Now think forward. And think forward. Give me three counts on each side. Grab on, now just hold it right here. And now what I want you to do is just pulse it. Pulse the rib cage forward and forward and forward. Think forward, hold it there. Now, if you feel like it and you have the stamina, you can release the arms and let's continue pulsing for 10 counts, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, you can do it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold on, pull those legs in, and let's go back and go into tabletop position. So from here, I want you to take your legs into tabletop. So it's a complete 90 degree angle. Make sure that they're not coming close to the midline, that they're 90 degrees. And now from here, take your arms straight out. Get the shoulders off the floor. Coming up, rounding up. And now, holding on with one hand, let's take the outside hand and just tap it down and down and down. And notice, we're really breathing and exhaling. And each time we exhale, pulling the belly button to the spine, taking those shoulders. Now, let's switch sides. And now, take it down and down and down. Give me four more like that. Get the shoulders just a little bit higher, just a quarter of an inch. And from here, I want both hands if you're more advanced and want to try it, take both hands out in front. Otherwise, hold on to Leah. Yvette doing great over there with both of her hands, just down and down. And each time, just think you're pressing on a little lever right here. And down and down. Give me four more. Three, two, and one. Lower yourself all the way down. And now let's work the lower leg. So keeping that tabletop position, hands are out to the side. What I want you to do is lower one leg down, and bring it back up again. As if you're tapping, you're tapping your uh, toe in some water and bring it back up. And take it down and bring it back up. And take it down. When you come back up, always make sure, when you bring it back up, always make sure that you come back to that tabletop. This is beautiful. Bring it back up, take it down and bring it back up. Take it down and bring it back up. Now, you can lengthen your leg out ever so much the more advanced you are. Take it down and bring it back up. Give me four more like this. Same time you take down, make sure that if you lengthen out that leg, you're keeping the lower back on the mat as you lengthen out. If you drop down, lower mat, the lower back stays on the mat. Take it down and bring it back up, great. Now, hold it right there, take your hands behind your head, and we're gonna go for the push now. Alternate side to side. The more advanced you are, the lower you can bring your legs down. The more beginner you are, bring those legs up to the ceiling. And here we go. Okay, now who's counting? <laughs> we got 50 of these. Now I don't want you to go too fast. Slow it down. Keep the shoulders up. It's nice and controlled. Side to side. Each time you come around, reach the elbow past the knee. And take it up. If you need to rest for a few, feel confident that you can rest, come back in again, and then do some more. I think we're getting close. I feel like we have about 10 more. I mean, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, we're almost there. You got it, two more. Last two. Great, pull those knees in. Lower yourself on the mat, and now pull yourself up to your elbows. From here, extend your legs, turn them out slightly. Beginner's knees are slightly bent. 
And now, lower the legs down, and as you exhale, zip them back up again. Lower down, using the lower abdominal, zip it back up again. And lower it down, and zip it back up. Down, and zip it back up. And if you want to, just bend those knees right here. If you feel like this is too advanced, just keep the knees slightly bent, and zip it back up. Otherwise, if you're like Yvette, you can get a little further range of motion, making sure you don't arch the back and zip it back up. Give me four more, three more, last two, and last one. Oh. Okay, drop it down, and now let's just stretch it out. Stretch the back out, go on your back, bring the hips up to the ceiling, and just stretch it out, give me another inch up, and now slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time, one vertebrae at a time. Come all the way down and let's come over and go right into a cobra position. So circle around and in your cobra, first of all, get the hands right underneath the shoulders. Press up and now press away from the mat. Whatever, there's gonna be different levels of flexibility there. But I want you to get to that lower cobra and then try taking your hands off the floor to make sure you're using your back muscles. Lifting them up, beautiful. Neck is long and now lower down. Let's try that again. Come a little higher this time. Come a little higher, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Hold it there. This time you can use your hands. Keep it up there. Keep that neck long, working the back. And now lengthen it down. And let's just press up into a cat position, all the way up, round the back, and then release it. And then round, and really round, and feel that C shape in the body, and then release it. And one more time, round it up, Beautiful, and then release it. And now, let's take it down into plank position. So let's take all the way into plank on your forearms. We're gonna to continue to work those abdominals. The main thing in this plank position, the abdominals are in, the buttocks is tucked under, and you're just holding on, but you're not taking it in your neck. The neck is long, the shoulders are down, squeezing those shoulder blades. At any time you feel like you wanna drop a knee because it's getting too hard, do so maintaining that long line. Hold it there and breathe through it. Oh my gosh, you're as stable as can be. I love it, I love it. You're doing so well, both of you. And you too, I can see it. Okay, let's drop down to the floor and now let's go into a side plank. So in your side plank, you can either do a beginning, which is on your knee, or more advanced, which is with your legs out. So coming up on your side plank, let's take it all the way up. And from there, let's drop the hips down and up. We're working our obliques now. We're getting that, we're whittling that waistline. Take it down and bring it up. And take it down and bring it up. Take it down, bring it up. Okay, take it down and bring it up. And just hold it there. And now everybody reach one arm to the ceiling. And now reach it all the way over and stretch it out. Stretch it out, beautiful. Ooh, it feels good. So let's take it down and do the same thing on the other side. Come all the way around and from here, you can take it in either position. You can be on your knee or more advanced like Yvette. So let's take it down and up and down and take it all the way up. Lift it high. Keep the hips stacked. Take it down and lift it up. Take it down and up. And this time I want you to hold it all the way up. Reach to the ceiling. Reach it over, stretch it out. Stretch out that side. Ah. Uh, Come back to center. Okay, and now let's go into a wide second position. So from here, just take it into a wide second position. And now, take it tall, reach to one side. Come back to center, reach to the other. And come back to center, cross the legs over, and let's just do a spinal twist. So one leg straight, one leg bent. Take it all the way around. And let's finish off on the other side. And just circle it around. Tall through the spine, no slouching, tall. And look to the back wall. And come on back. And now, perfect. With this workout, you're gonna whittle the waistline and tone those abdominals like you can't believe.